talking to a friend of mine who's actually a marriage and family counselor. And he said one of the things that becomes really, really difficult in a relationship yeah. is the way that people will talk about their in-laws. You know, mm. it's heartbreaking, you know, it's really hard. And I know someone else has actually has a very challenging time with her mother. And one of the things that makes it hard for her to deal with those challenges and their challenging mother is when other people like say something bad about her mother. Which yeah, basically I think... means like now I can't process because now I have to defend this person who I actually need to be angry at. But now you talk shit about my mother and now I actually have to defend my mom. But the reality is, is I actually need to be angry with my mom. You know, yeah. you've taken away the freedom that I need to be angry and spew when you take my side. I just don't want anyone like shit talking to my mom. I don't. Don't you talk my mom. Don't you find dad. You know, like, or my brothers. My brothers aren't perfect. My dad's not perfect. My mom's not perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. You know, but somebody goes there, like all of a sudden, like I've got things I need to work out with my parents or my brothers or whatever, but you start shit talking them. And now I can't because it's not your place. Yeah, it's not. I, it's it's really important because I really cannot stand people who are not my family talking shit about my family. Right. I have the right and I have like family agreements that I can call out to members of my family if they're doing something shitty. Yeah. Like the agreement is that we are helping each other grow and evolve. And so if you're doing something shitty, I will tell you mm -hmm. you're being shitty. But I don't... Like, if I'm talking to my friend, like, I don't want my friend to be like, yeah, like, she talking my family. Like, yeah. I'm like, wait. Well, I think there are two things, right? One what is What is that... going on here? Like, yeah. I I can say stuff to about my family, but I don't want you to be saying stuff about my family, you know? Yeah, and I think there's like I'm two things on that, right? Because yeah. one is that you can be so mad at your mother and you can still love her. But you can't be as mad at your mother as you are with anybody else and still love them. If you were as mad at like your next door neighbor as you get with your mother, you would not still love them. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you know, so it's that nuance that you get. Um, but I, you know, and then I just think the other thing too is that it doesn't mean that I defend them. It doesn't mean that I don't even help you discover like when you're like, there's a, I have this issue, you know? And like, you know, if we go back to like with your, with your biological mother in, in Kenya, you know, it's like, I can see where some of the issues are, so I can bring them up or something that I've observed, but I withhold my judgment. I bring up an observation or bring it up with like where, where I don't get involved in the emotion. You know, I've never been angry with your mother no. and I will never be angry with your mother because it's just not my place and I don't need to. And I, if she does something, if she cross, ever crossed the line with me, I can say that or I can be like, you know what? That's not cool. I'm, you know, peacing out, you know, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. I have the choice never to get angry or engaged. You don't actually have that choice, you know, no. to, you have to engage in that way. And so, you know, it doesn't mean like, oh, I'm going to defend your mom. It doesn't mean I'm not going to offer insight. It just means the way I'm going to do it is there, you know, to never be like angry or, or kind of put down my in-laws, your family. These are the people that helped make you who you are. And you're rad. Like I, I'm so grateful. There's not one thing that your mother did that I'm like, you know, that I'm like angry about. Yeah, it would be nice if she had done a lot of things differently. But you know what? She delivered this person. And I love you for your shortcomings. And I love you for the great parts about oh, you. She gave me all of that. So and I'm going to love her for that and respect her 100% because she gave me the person that I love. And if you were a perfect, if you were better, if you had fewer faults, if you had less, you would just be a different person. You wouldn't be this person that I'm in a relationship with. Yeah.